Hi guys, it's Otto from Motorize It, and today we'll be looking at the latest Somfy roller shutter motor, the RS100IO. Um, it has a lot of new functions uh, which are specifically designed for roller shutters, um, but it also means that the, uh, the setup procedure is different. So to set the end limits, uh, we need to follow a different procedure, which I'm going to show you now. Um, I'll be using the C205 IO. Um, I won't be using the smooth RS100 um, because it's a touch version and it's not as easy to work with uh, as this C2. So let's get started. Um, first I'm going to select the channel, because this is a five channel remote, and I'll be pressing the up and down buttons until the motor responds, to take control of the motor itself. Now what I need to do is position it roughly in the middle. So I need to use the buttons to get it in the right position. doesn't matter if the, the, the direction to which it turns is, uh, is uh, incorrect. Um, that can be adjusted later. The motor will do that automatically or will help the motor um, learn which, which side is up or which side is down. Now what I need to do is uh, once it's in the middle, I press the up and down buttons again for about five seconds until the motor jogs again. So just press it and keep holding it until the motor responds, which is now. So now you can, can set either the lower limit or the upper limit. It doesn't matter which one you, you use first. I'm going to set the upper limit. I'm going to press up, but it's still moving down, so I need to press the down button. You press and hold it, and then it will start rolling. You press stop when it's almost in the right position, and then you can adjust it by just pressing briefly on the button, and it will adjust itself to get to the right position. To confirm this position, I need to press the My button until the motor jogs again. It's about two seconds. It has responded now. So now I'll be going into the down position. To set the lower limit, I'm going to keep pressing until it rolls down. And I'll stop it here. Again, you press the My button for about two seconds until the motor jogs. And that's it. All positions have been set. So what I need to do now is confirm that everything has been done by pressing the PROG button on the back of the remote. The motor jogs and I know everything has been set. So I'll test it, see if the directions are correct. No, they're not. So what has happened is uh, when you have a small roller shutter, one that's very light, the motor cannot determine which side is up or down because the difference um, in, in weight is too small, so the motor works about as hard to roll it up as it is working to roll it down. So what I need to do is to help it know which side is up, and I do that by pressing the button and making it roll up. And then I give it a bit of work to do by holding it a little bit, so the motor has to work harder, because in the upward direction normally it works harder. Um, I've done that, so what I can do now is, again, I make it roll down, Still in the wrong direction, but I make it go down all the way down so they can have one full length of rolling up and then it will recognize the direction. And as you can see now, when I've pressed up, it's going up. So this last part of the procedure is only necessary for small roller shutters. When you have a big one, the weight difference is big um, between going up and going down, so the motor will have to work harder anyway, so you don't need to hold it. Um, what's also very important is you don't hold it um, fixed in, in one position, you still allow it to move upwards. Now if you have any trouble setting the motor or if you have any questions, do let me know. The email address is info at motorizer.it. Thank you and see you next time.